OK, so here's a problem thrown at me. Um, this kind of character and setting him up with Rigget Light. Um, he is, of course, a, you know, a reasonably standard biped, but he's also kind of non-standard because he's just a head with limbs, um, which, of course, deviates a fair bit from the standard biped setting. Um, and we can see that some of the effects we're getting here when we're rotating the arm there, you can see the fall off into the other areas, which isn't that great. Um, if we look at the leg here, we can see that there's, you know, fall-off issues and deformation issues going on there, okay, um, which aren't really all that pretty or wanted. So, um, let's see what we can do to fix this up. Well, first of all, um, we can work on the actual placement of the joint parts. You see, for instance, the hip here is quite high up. So that'll probably benefit a lot from coming lower down. And also the hip spacer joint here you can see is pretty wide set. Um, you can also see that there's some, you know, back turning here in the in the whole spine set up to get the arms in place because of course he doesn't really have much of a spine. So the first thing I'd do to start correcting this out is work on some of the joint placements. Um, you see here that I've got my hip is much more further down to where the actual leg connects to the body, so I'm going to make that the actual hip joint part. And you can see here that I've sort of compressed my spine way down um, to put it in this section of the body below the actual mouth, um, so the controllers can either be used or not. Um, and so there we have that there. Right, let's take a look at our, our little hip to start off with and um, see what we're getting. We can see that we're still getting, you know, unreasonable forms there. Okay, right, first thing that we can do, um, well, this character doesn't really have a butt, does he? He doesn't really have an ass. And one of the things that's causing this deformation is the butt bones um, that we have in place here. If we bring their strength down to zero, then we can see that our rotation here ah, has cleaned up a fair bit there. Okay, so um, quite simply, we can just take the butt bones and clear them away. Just get rid of them. Don't need them. So there's that. So this now, you know, is deforming a bit better. There's still a little bit of fall off there. Um, quite simple way to help fix that is to take our pre-prepared hold bones and let's just increase their rest length a little bit um, to bring that out there. Okay, that's about 2T7. Chop that over to the other one so it's nice and, you know, even and symmetrical. Ah, and that's tidied things up a lot for us, so that's pretty good. Now, our other problem area is, of course, the arms. We can see this huge amount of fall-off that's going into the body there. Um, but let's also just point this out, because if we come down to the elbow, you'll see that even if we rotate the elbow, you see there's a, a minor fall-off into the body, okay? That is because, of course, you know, he's a big fat character. He's quite, you know, broad in his proportions. And so, of course, the spine bones that are running through the body, of course, have influence on the body, but they're so far away from these vertices here over on the mouth um, that they're just as far away as the arm joints are. And so, even rotating the mid-arm has fall off into the face. So, the simplest fix for that is just going to be to create a weight map here um, for the arms. So, as we, you know, can limit those bones to only affecting that area. So there we go, we just create that weight map, and then back in layout we pick out the offending bones from the, um, for, for, from the deform rig here, start with the shoulder spacing bone there, and we just set them to use the arms weight map. And so there that fixes up an awful lot for us. Um, we're still getting some fall off, and the reason why is because of course this shoulder here, this shoulder joint, um, that is having a, an effect on the parent, which is the collar. So I'm going to turn off the compensation for parent there. And look at that, we can see that that's fixed that right up by weight mapping and adjusting the parent compensation options. So that's pretty good. We want to make things a little more solid so we can grab these, you know, these pre-prepared hold bones again, just bring those over into a correct area. Okay, um, again the same with this, this middle one here that would, you know, in a normal biped character be the chin. We can bring that out here somewhere and select those and rest them. Um, and, of course, they are set to a head weight map, which this guy doesn't have, because he doesn't have a specific bone just controlling his head. So I'm going to set their influence back to, back to none. That way they'll grab this area. And we can see that everything is working much more cleanly. Um, and properly. We can also have a go at selecting any of the bones or joints in the deform rig and changing the fall-off distance um, as well, which will change the overall fall-off for the entire character, so that will give us a slightly different effect as well. Um, tightening it up on the higher numbers and, and smoothing it out on the, on the lower numbers. Um, and simply like that, with those 
small adjustments you can quite easily get even a, a weird looking character like this to behave itself with the rig just by adjusting some of your weight maps and playing a bit with the parent child joint compensation options um, that'll give you a much better rounded out character overall and handle your deformations just so. Um, there you go.